YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, the Baltimore Ravens are signing Demarcus Robinson. You know, he was actually somebody that I was wanting them to sign a little bit a couple years back. Um, but hey, better late than never, right? Uh, and with them signing Demarcus Robinson, what are they getting? He's a 6'1 speed receiver. Uh, he's a yak guy. Uh, he's a playmaker. I mean, R Ravens fans should definitely know about Demarcus Robinson from them Chiefs games because um, he certainly made enough plays on us. Uh, but he was he had been behind, obviously behind Tyreek Hill, behind Travis Kelsey. Um, I'm not sure where his spot was on the roster compared to like guys like Pringle and whatnot, but. He was one of the Chiefs supplemental wide receivers. Um, I appreciate that uh, Sarah Ellison brought up his stats for the past three years. Uh, 2021, last year he had 25 catches for 264 yards and three touchdowns. The previous year, he had 45 receptions for 466 yards and three touchdowns. And then the year before that in 2019, he had 32 catches for 449 yards and four touchdowns. So nothing overwhelming. Um, but he also wasn't a starter. What his role is going to be with the Baltimore Ravens, I, I have no clue. I'm not mad at this signing. Uh, it's not a signing where it's like, all right, yep, that's the one that's taking us over the top, buddy. It ain't nothing like that. Um, but it is still a decent move. Now, you know what I should have done? I should have actually looked to see why... <laughs> Oh, when you when you think about some things in your head and then you say them out loud, a lot of times that can give you clarity on how you really feel about those things. What I was getting ready to say is I, I wonder why he got cut from the Raiders. Obviously, they got Devontae Adams. Obviously, they got Hunter Renfro. Obviously, they got Darren Waller. But I wonder why he got cut from them. I know they signed him, but I, I, I guess I'll look that up a bit later. But um, now, it, with this Demarcus Robinson signing, again, solid signing. Solid sign. I, I ain't mad at the signing at all. Um, but it just makes you think. It makes you think and it makes you wonder, okay, so what's really going on? And with them signing him, we should know over really the next 24 hours, maybe the next two hours, but definitely over the next 24 hours, the status of certain Ravens receivers. To me, this sounds like Tylen Wallace may be going on injury reserve. That's what it sounds like to me, uh, unfortunately. We'll see, though. We'll see. Hopefully, I end up being completely wrong. Uh, and Tylen Wallace, he can still salvage this season. But that's what it sounds like to me. Because he got a knee injury. And Tylen Wallace has had uh, leg, leg injuries and knee injuries before. So it's, it's just like, uh, I, I don't know, man. Um, James Prochet, what's going on with him? What's his status? Harbaugh gave us that infamous, oh, soft tissue injury. And it's like, ooh, okay, well, we heard that one before. He said two weeks. We'll see. We got to wait it out. Um, so I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but that does, uh, this does give me a little bit of uh, concern for some of the guys that are on the roster uh, already. But with Demarcus Robinson, it, it gives you somebody that can help out and can help out right away. Um, again, we talked about the speed factor. He does got a good amount of speed. Uh, he'll go up and get it, too. He ain't afraid to go up. He ain't afraid to do the jump balls and whatnot. Um, so now it's going to be up to him and Lamar to sort of just build that chemistry. It's going to be up to them to, to, to build that up. Um, and where, where he would be on the depth chart, if I'm thinking about it right here, right now, especially given the injury situation, uh, Rashad Bateman, I think he would, he would be the opposite outside receiver. Opposite Rashad Bateman. Um, James Prochet, Alpha now, Devin Duvernay, I figure like they may put him in the slate, even though he ain't really shifty like that. See, Demarcus Robinson, he, he, got, he got a little wiggle to him now. He got a little wiggle, so that, that's a good thing. Um, but one of the things I really uh, am looking forward to um, from the receiver room this year that can it's small things that can make such a big difference. And Demarcus Robinson, is, is, if he stays around and the Ravens keep him, um, he can add to this. And that's Yak. That's Yak. Yak can play such a big role in Ravens offense in their passing game because it, it makes stuff easier just Obviously, extends plays. It gets you closer to first downs and touchdowns. You accumulate more yards. And it just helps move them chains. 
so many times over the years we've seen where Ravens receiver will catch it and then there wouldn't be much yak attached to it. And that's been an issue with the Ravens for a while now. But hopefully this year, this 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 will be the year, hopefully, where that yak, it just helps take the passing game to another level. Along with a lot of other stuff that we've been talking about today. Whew. Today been busy, ain't it? Steve Young, then RG3, then the Ravens like, you know what? That's been all that unofficial Raven news. Let's get to some official Raven news. Let's go ahead and bring in a wide receiver. But this continues uh, to be the Ravens way. Um, the Ravens way when it comes to a lot of wide receivers, it's really cast off, guys. Um, guys that ended up, and, and I know a lot, of, a lot of Ravens fans were expecting something like this because whenever we brought up the conversation about wide receiver, uh, it was like, oh, man, who, who are the Ravens going to sign? Because, you know, like they ain't trading for no premier guy. Okay, so that was out the window. So who are they going to sign? Julio had been out there for a while. Then he just recently got picked up by the Bucks. Um, there was uh, uh, OBJ. Who knows when he's going to get picked up? He's not healthy yet, I don't think. There was T.Y. Hilton. Whenever I heard that, I was like, oh, nope. There was Cole Beasley. Whenever I heard that, I was like, oh, nope. Um, and who else? There was Emmanuel Sanders, and I was like, oh, that, that would be very Raven-esque uh, for them to get somebody like Emmanuel Sanders. Um, but this is just just like that because he, he while well, he's not old, um, with Demarcus Robinson, he, uh, he was cut. He, he was cut from the Raiders for whatever reason. And you know what? Let me see, let me see exactly how old he is. I know he's not old. Oh, he's 27. Wow. <laughs> Ravens, you got you a young one there, buddy. So <laughs> some new territory for y'all, but. Um, because they, they got Seth Roberts back in 2019, so but yeah, this this is a little a little out of the ordinary, man. Uh, and Sammy Watkins, even though he was young, like it, it felt like like his body is like old, and you feel for him because he was young. Um, and and his body just just banged up a lot, and he just he couldn't hang, man. So poor guy. Hopefully, uh, up there. Hopefully that cold weather up in Green Bay. Hopefully it helps. I don't know if it will. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Um. But yeah, man, this continues the Ravens their their strategy at the uh, wide receiver position. Oh, somebody got cut. Okay, all right. And this year, this offseason, they ain't been worried about no comp picks. So that that got thrown out the window a long time ago because none of the guys like that, none of their free agents qualified them for comp picks. So they they wasn't worried about no comp picks this year. Um, but I mean, hey, it's we'll see, man. We'll see. I um. My expectations are not good. They're not going to be crazy high with a Demarcus Robinson. I ain't going to, oh, yeah, he's going to go off for 1,000 yards. I would love that. I would, I would, I would love it. Um, but I just expect him to be just a, uh, an every once in a while playmaker. Now, if he could be, is a consistent playmaker, hey, even better. If he can be some every game, every two games, every other game, whatever it may, if he can be, bring consistency, great. I'm with it all day, all day, because you can never have enough playmakers. And him, he had been so used to playing with Patrick Mahomes, so he's used to them big plays, all them crazy plays. Hey, Lamar Jackson, yes, it's going to be a lot of that too. Just <laughs> just don't drop the ball. <laughs> so, there was so, oh my goodness, it's kind of painful when you think about it. There was so many plays over the years when Lamar Jackson, he does this and does that. Then he throws the ball. And he, it's like, oh, man, this is going to be something crazy. He do all this crazy stuff in the backfield. Then he throws the ball and then boom, it gets dropped. And it's like, oh, you think about all the what could have been. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's cool, man. I just I, I, I'm just I guess we'll just wait it out to see what happens with uh, any of the Ravens um, other receivers. Uh, and again, to me, it just it makes it sound like something's gonna go down with one of their receivers mainly i'm thinking tylen wallace um but i'm just i don't know it, it just this is not a needle moving wide receiver it's not like oh okay yeah oh, I'm, I'm cool with it it's not needle moving but i mean it, okay cool cool ravens wide receiver group still got a whole lot to prove they still got a whole lot to prove 
Um, so we'll just see how it goes. And then we roll with it, roll with the punches as they come. And let's see how these Ravens do, man. Super exciting year, though, to be a Ravens fan. I mean, as is every year. Um, but, yeah, that's that. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I know there's been an, an influx of videos today, and it's just been it's been a lot. It's been fun, though, but it's been a lot of work. So I am going to go uh, try to play me some Madden 23. Maybe it's finished downloading by now. We'll see. But I love y'all, and I'm out. Y'all be good to yourself.